very hard thing to teach somebody to not reach out, but to keep their hands up by their face, stay protected. the hooks in, gonna work for a choke here. Gotta get that arm under the neck. Locks one arm on the bicep, and he's got it. Good job, Bobby. Tag a hang for Bobby. Submissions off the bottom. Top man wants to keep his posture up. As soon as he gets his posture broken down, oh, there you go. There's all kinds of leg locks here that both are in position. A lot of times you end up in scrambles like this. Billy's working for takedowns. And this here bottom man, there you go, back into the guard with his legs. You never want the opponent over the top. Coach, if you can demonstrate that real quick for people, go ahead and put him in full mount. Okay, there's the guard right there. Now, top man, put your hand on his face. Put the fist on his face, straight up. Okay? Now, go in full mount and show him the difference. Go into full mount. Now, you can see that bottom man when he was in guard. He can still reach the guy's face. Now, Put your, he puts his hand there, there's no way he can reach anymore if the top man is punching down. And if he does try to reach, he's going to get arm barred like you see here. So that guard position, anytime the guy's getting taken down, he always wants to fight to recover to that guard with his legs wrapped around the guy's torso. Two hands in the take down, he wants to be strong. Been behind, one of the most dominant positions that you can maintain without getting shook off. Shake it off. Working on that arm there. Looks like he's going to give it up. Here again, bottom man's going to want to retain that guard. Top man wants to pass those legs to get to a more dominant position. Almost slip by there. Here's where you see that full guard position being used. Be a very oh he slid right past it because he's the coach, but that'd be a very difficult position to get past. Very 
see the reversal. And top man is the top man's guard. scramble for position. As soon as you give up position, you let the top man maintain that, that dominant position, that's when you can start working on his submissions. You've always got to fight for the dominant position first. guys. Bobby. Thank you. Guys, uh, really great. Once again, my name is Marlon. I represent Team Body Shop down in Lakewood. Uh, I'm pretty proud of my kids. Uh, the program has only been six months and I'm very satisfied. I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing. My motto on Thai boxing is you hit first, you hit last, and you always answer back. Okay? In Jiu Jitsu, everybody has passed tradition to tradition from the Mason family. Position before submission, don't rush it. It's not a strength, it's all now about leverage. Uh, I could, I could bring one of these kids up here and, and ask them, hey, what's the difference between a white belt and a black belt? What is it? All right, let's see. White belt that never stops training. A white belt will get to black is only if it becomes a part of their life. Daily training, hard training. Another model of mine, hard training with big talent. Anytime, if you train hard, sky's the limit, okay? This sport has literally changed my life. I have a passion for it. I'm trying to, and I'm driving myself to a better place, whether it be on my MMA or my Jiu Jitsu. I think it will change a lot of kids' lives as well. It's going to make them being organized. Make them being humble. Building from the inside out is very important for a young kid. Be able to walk away from a situation because they already know and their body has been training on how to execute the moves to close any deal. Anyway, guys, uh, I want to say thanks to Craig for coming here. Bobby, Bobby is going to be a scary guy. My gosh, I would never want to step into the ground where Bobby's around. Because experience, he's only six years old. He already developed a good footwork, keeping his hands up, his guard, the ground game, the wrestling game. It's scary where that future might have for Bobby. I don't know. He just needs to be a viable. He just needs to be teachable, humble, and hungry. And life is a, is a, is a, you learn, you live and learn. Andrew, thank you for coming. Very proud of you. Alexander, same goes to you, man. Very promising future. Stay focused. And I always tell this to you guys. I love you guys. I'm very proud of you guys. And this guy's the limit for you guys. All I'm doing is pass, passing my passion to you guys. So I really appreciate you guys being here, enjoying this time with me. And also I want to say thanks to Brett and Bima. Uh, made it possible for us to be here and show you guys some great techniques. Hope you guys like it. 
It is great. Sky's the limit for everybody. I love what we're doing. I love the sport. There you guys got it. There you guys have it. I'm originally from Venezuela, so excuse my English. And especially if I'm talking to a crowd, my English goes out the window. So hopefully you guys understand what I said. Love you all. Thank you for this opportunity. And thanks, you guys. Definitely.